My mouthpiece, the one I've played for 25 years on everything. is dying. In fact, it may already be dead. This is not that mouthpiece. But the fact that it's okay gives me hope. This is a hard rubber link number nine, like mine was, although I recently found out that my nine is actually a nine star, more on that later. But this is a nine and it's good, it's not, correct for me yet, but the fact that it's this good is like, it gives me hope. So the question keeps coming up, what does it mean the mouthpiece is dying? What do I mean by that, that it's dying? Well, it just started to thin out a little bit. Like my sound was there, but not fully. It was almost like the reed felt like a paper wafer or something. See, it's a very uneven mouthpiece. It's definitely not fancy. It never was refaced. This is how it came from the store, but the tip and the rails and everything are kind of just warped from years and years of wear and tear. And it, it just it just doesn't respond correctly anymore. So I'm gonna be in the process of trying mouthpieces and maybe, maybe getting my mouthpiece refaced. I know people are definitely of two minds on that. And I think the better solution would be to get a copy of mine made, which is actually what's happening right now. Somebody is in the process of making a copy of my mouthpiece and then possibly try to get somebody to reface like some blanks that are similar to mine first. I don't know. I, the, the reason I'm making this video is because I posted something, a picture on social media about this and it got so much activity and so many wonderful insights and comments from people, it was a little bit overwhelming. I'm now faced with so many options and suggestions from people who make mouthpieces and people who reface mouthpieces and people saying definitely use this refacer and definitely buy this mouthpiece from these people. It's overwhelming. I'm sad that I'm having to probably part ways with my trusty store-bought Autolink Tone Edge. Again, nothing fancy. I, brought, I bought it at Rayburn Music in the 1990s, late 90s. 1990s in Boston. And uh, it's just what I've played forever. It's a messy mouthpiece. Anybody who knows about mouthpieces and has seen my mouthpiece over the years has genuinely uh, chuckled because the rails and the tips and the tracks and the I don't know, with the baffles and uh, it's it's all baffling to me, frankly. I don't, I really just don't, I don't, uh, well, I'm learning. The reed is still vibrating perpendicular to the rails, but you're having to like squeeze way harder on one side than the other. Ah, uh, right. that's why I wanted to make this video. I thought, look, I'm about to go through this journey. I might as well make this the place that we can kind of get this community discussion going. And I hope that by sharing my path through this to hopefully a better other side, that I can offer up whatever I'm learning along the way. And I'm already learning a lot um, about tables and chairs and rails and uh, buff baffles and buffaloes. And uh, that may be helpful to you in your journey. And as somebody who has long evangelized not changing gear and just sticking with the same thing, like I've, I've played this Mark VI saxophone since I was 17 years old in high school. And I, I played this, well, not this, but my auto link, you know, since my early days at Berklee College of Music in Boston. And I've played the same three and a half Rico Royal or now Daddario Royal reeds forever and the ligature. I just, I don't worry about the gear stuff. I just put my head down and start, you know, try to worry about working on the craft. However, here I am at this juncture where it has become increasingly obvious to me, really on this last uh, European tour I just completed with Snarky Puppy, I was really frustrated. <laughs> I had brought an additional hard rubber link with me that somebody had kind of tried to work on a while back. I mean, they they were they did work on it, but it's it's not it's not good. Look, that's the other thing. There's there's so much there's so many options. Uh, I just want to kind of find my way through this. Somebody is in the process of making a copy of my link right now, and then the next step should be will probably be possible refacing. I, there's a lot of there's more questions than answers right now, but stay tuned. Watch this space, and we're gonna figure this out together, see what uh, the mouthpiece is gonna be for the next 25 years.